As Dana's already pointed out, Kleiman is the blocker for the USA, and the experienced April Ross plays defense. So, America have won the toss, put Australia into serve with Artaccio, with the first play of this women's semi-final. And right off the bat, you see the power of Artaccio. What Australia is going to do, they're going to put pressure on you. They're going to put a wall in front of you as a block, and on that back line, they're going to put all sorts of pressure coming with a tough serve. It's going to be very important for the United States to pass the ball well. Artaccio with the service, targeting that climb, and there's the set, understandably, that Australia will do everything they can to keep April Ross out of this match. So expect the number two on your screens. Alex Kleiman, 29-year-old from Manhattan Beach, California, to get most of the serves from Australia. But point on the board for the US. Here is the 37-year-old April Ross. Very experienced, you name it, she's won it, including the World Championship gold in 2009 in Stavanger, Norway. Good calm play from Maria Fay Artaccio of Australia. Both teams showing very little nerves, going about their business in a professional way. This is a big semi-final. Go through to the big one, and there's a shot at $60,000. Most importantly, automatic qualification to the Olympic Games if you win tomorrow. That is a huge prize. And a little trickler, and that is not lucky for Clancy. She rips the ball. She gets a lot of those tricklers. She gets a lot of clean aces. Currently the best server on tour. And, you know, April Ross, she might have a little something to say about that. She has won best server on tour multiple times. It's a big serve from Clancy. But a good strike of the ball from Kleinman. Valuable side out for the Americans. Remember, it's rally point scoring in beach volleyball. You pick up the point whether you serve the ball or whether you receive the service. As long as you get it down on the sand of the opposition, you'll take away the point. Let's take a look at Alex Kleinman's first serve of this semi-final. Very interesting. That was the big question. How will the Americans defend against the over on two offense from Taliqua Clancy? And right there, you saw Alex Kleiman taking her power cross court. April protecting the line, but that ball goes right in the middle of the net. Looks like they've done their homework and research on the opposition team USA. Service error from Kleiman takes us to seven points in total on the scoreboard. We side switch, change ends. Why? Because there may be an advantage of sunlight or wind, breeze. Not in the Rottenbaum Stadium. This is one of the best beach arenas I think I've ever seen on the tour. It's perfect, even though the weather can be a little unsettled here in Hamburg. It has yet to affect play. And if it gets really bad out there, they just put the roof on. That is the one luxury you have at this venue, is that it has a retractable roof that opens and closes. So if there is rain or downpour, not a problem. You just close the roof. And earlier today, it was closed. I don't know if it still is. I think they opened it back up. It takes a little time, so it's not something that can be done immediately. It has to be done between matches. What a cool venue this has been, and it's become one of the most popular on tour. Absolutely. They're already calling this the uh, Wimbledon of beach volleyball. That is the word that many have been uh, brandishing. That's a lovely shot from April Ross, but great cover from Attaccio. Climbing over on two, and it's the baseline. Well, that's the favorite shot of the Australians, not the Americans. Give them a little piece of their own medicine there, and it pays dividends for USA. Look at April Ross laying it out. I love how she worked hard to get two hands on the ball to control it. And Alex Kleinman, that's not an easy task, getting it over Artacho, who is cat-like quickness in the back. Kleinman with the service. Serves Artacho. Oh, that is very lucky for Australia. And uh, another good shot from Kleiman. Tools the ball off the block of uh, Talika Clancy. 
The USA take the lead at six to five. What I liked about that play by Alex Kleinman is she hit it aggressively. She didn't just poke the ball or kind of shoot it over. She went, she attacked it, and when you attack, good things happen. Well, she's heard you. She's been listening to you all week long, Dane. And uh, much more of a positive, powerful, and as Dane has said, aggressive serve and play from Alex Kleinman. And it's making a big difference for Team USA. She is the targeted player from the Australians. Oh, and another service ace. Great run of points for the Americans. And it's coming from Alex Kleinman. Alex Kleinman had an excellent career at Miracosta High School, Stanford University, and professionally on the indoor circuit in Europe. And now she's taking her game to the beach and she's showing her skills. She gets better every single time she is out there. And having April Ross as your partner with all that experience has been just a huge benefit for Alex Klein. Australia have seen enough. They've used, burned up their timeouts very quickly. With America going 8-5 clear, each team gets a timeout that they can call at any moment in each set, but only one. Now, a lot of the opinion leaders say that if you burn it early, you put yourself under a lot of pressure when you get down to the business end of the set, sort of 15, 17, 16, 17. But uh, Australia feel they have no choice but to call it early to try and stop this early momentum from the USA, and in particular, this exceptional play from uh, Alex Kleinman. As Dane has already pointed out, a very successful indoor player making the switch to the beach. And it all seems to be coming together for the Californian in this all-important semi-final. Climbing a game with service, another good serve off the back of the 30-second break and another good block. Great play from the Americans. And uh, it's a very impressive start. The timeout clearly didn't work, Dane. And uh, Australia again lose the point. That ball blocked right there and unable to be recovered by the Australians. Up and over. Clancy going for it. You know, in January 2018, April and Alex, they won in The Hague, and that was Alex Kleinman's first international tournament. She became the first player to win her first international tournament out there and really has been improving ever since. I think a lot of people were shocked by that, but no surprise now. That's a lovely shot by Maria Faye Artaccio. What surprises me, Dane, is that uh, the Australians are the informed team from the FIVB World Tour coming into these championships. They have been consistently in the final four in just about all of the major events in the build-up to Hamburg. And uh, therefore, for the USA to open up a nice early lead like this will be a surprise for many, and I'm one of them. 10 to six to the USA. Yeah, the US also has been so consistent, haven't finished outside of the top five and always right in the mix that's what i was saying at the beginning of this both these teams so consistent yep. and really playing maybe some of the best volleyball that they've ever played as a team to this point big side out for the australians the aussies currently ranked two on the fivb world tour for me, it's the experience that April Ross brings to the court that may be the deciding factor for the USA. Here is April Ross. Look how she confidently puts that ball down to the sand. She's kind of done it all before, Dane. Two Olympic medals, okay, only a silver and a bronze. Only a silver and a bronze, that's amazing. And the world championship title. So she seems the calmest and most settled and therefore the most able to execute their game plan. Kleinman, another service ace. No, ball was too long. I think just long, very close, but just outside the line. Kleinman has been putting serious pressure on Australia. Love the jump float down the middle. April Ross sets up Alex Kleinman. 
Gets the better of Toluca Clancy at the net. Gets a lovely cut on the ball to find the angle. Yeah, I think that's one of Alex Kleinman's best hits. The sharp cross court, and if it's in her wheelhouse, as that set is, April knows exactly where to put it, and then Alex can finish it off. You mentioned April with the two Olympic medals. We haven't mentioned yet that her former partner from 2012, the Olympics there, and her world championship, Jen Kessie, has been their coach. And it has been really a solid matchup. Kessie, Kleinman, and Ross working together to create the magic. And that's what Kleinman does best, the blocking at the net. Great reaction time on that second effort. Dane, I'm sure you'll agree, but Alex Kleinman is having by far her best match of the tournament to date. And of course, it's the one that really matters. It's the semi-final. Australia in a little bit of trouble here. That is uh, Talika Clancy to the right. And Artaccio, her partner, to the left. Now, they're coached by uh, Kurt Pittman, uh, a former player that you know very well, Dane, you played against in, in your time. Uh, Kurt Pittman used to be with the British contingent off the Commonwealth Games, moved over to work with the Aussies. And uh, look at uh, Clancy there, she's got the highest block height, some impressive stats against her name. And uh, she's had a brilliant tournament, but the Americans have just come that little bit stronger in this opening set. Yeah, and on that list, Kleinman is number two, so you're talking about maybe the best two blockers in the tournament. Here's the serving. Clancy, 23 aces leading as well, so talk about a point scoring machine. Serving tough from the back line and being a force at the net as well. Clancy has been on fire. But look at Kleinman in the comparison to Clancy. Almost double the amount of jumps and double the amount of calories burned. That's a good play from Clancy. She's aggressive. She can be quite powerful on the court. And that's a classic example of how Toluca Clancy can dominate a match. There she serves and sprints right up to go for the block. But Kleinman could do no wrong at the moment. Maybe only her 14th FIVB World Tour event. She's looking like a season pro out there, Dave. But what, what she's doing so well, making it look easy, is the initial contact. The pass is on point. So they're not scrapping, they're not groveling around to try to save the ball. Their passing has been on point. And they've been putting all sorts of pressure on Australia. That out of bounds as well. And the United States opening up a six-point lead. And it's because of serving pressure, particularly from Alex Kleinman, which is interesting. I mentioned it earlier. April Ross has five times on the FIVB World Tour been voted best server. Kleinman again goes deep into the Australian court to Toluca Clancy. That's a good shot from the Australian, under a lot of pressure. A very important side out for the Aussies. And scoring a point under a lot of pressure from the USA. Delico Clancy with a nice roll shot, great rotation on the ball. You know, she was in the 2016 Olympics, finished in ninth place. Starting to cut into that lead right now. I called the talent already, sorry. Yeah, you, you show the signal. For yes, because you show the official signal. That's okay. So challenge, a challenge was USA called block touch. by the United States, and then it looked like April wanted to retract the challenge, but head referee David Crescentini had already signaled it, so. The United States had to use it. Was there or was there not a block touch? If there was not, then the United States will be down to just one challenge. Not a particularly huge deal either way. No touch. No touch. So each team is given two challenges per set. If you're unsuccessful with those challenges, you lose them. If you are successful, then you stay with two. Down to one challenge for the United States of America, but still four clear of Australia. Good shot from April Ross. Five clear of Australia. 16 points to 11. 
the USA started strong and focused and holding that form all the way through this opening set. You can't leave no one at the net when the United States is swinging. They're just too strong offensively. There you see the line calls for the block. Signal to her partner, April Ross in the back. What a beautiful dig that was. Oh, that's just out of play. Point to Australia. 12 to 16. Dang, these two teams met in the uh, Xiamen four-star event back in April of this year. Three sets, but it was the Australians that came out on top. Fascinating to see America looking for sweet revenge here. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this one went to three sets, yep. although right now the United States really has been in control this entire set. They really held Artacho as well as Clancy in check. They haven't let them get in a groove. They've been a little bit off kilter and still trying to find their way. Climbing, first service error from the American. I think I mentioned earlier to Lee Clancy in the 2016 game, she didn't finish night, she actually finished fifth with Louise Bodden and so close to being in those medal rounds. Good shot from Talika Clancy. It's interesting that looking about looking at the past results of the Australians, Dana, they were third here in the uh, World Tour Finals at the end of uh, last season. They know the stadium well, they know how big the crowds can be, and they know how to deal with the pressure. And I think that could be a plus for Australia. April Ross sets up Kleiman to attack for the USA. Oh, and a little confusion between the two Australian players, whether the blocker or defense was going to pick that up. 18 to 14. Got to be communicative every time. There's the touch, and it's right in between. That is Artacho's ball because Clancy can't see. Artacho can. She should call off Clancy, lay it out, and get that ball up in the air. April Ross to serve for the USA. That is a surprise from April Ross, as Dana's already pointed out. One, two, three, four, five times she's been voted the best server. So Australia are already on tender hooks, waiting for that ball to come at them. But she's just putting it a little too deep. That's her third service error. Well left by Kleinman. 19 to 15. Surely now the USA can uh, close this one out. And they want to close it out as quick as they can. Kleinman serves. Oh, another ace for Kleinman. April Ross, my mistake. Either way, the it's United nice. States. Sorry, wow. Dave. They are serving tough, right? They're serving tough. They're putting the pressure. Clancy a couple of times has tried to rip it and get into this thing, but she has missed her serve, so. You were correct. It was, was Alex Kleinman. <laughs> it's tough, you know, when they're in those full tights, both all four players actually wearing full tights head to toe oh, and another ace. Another one. Two back-to-back -back aces for Alex Kleinman of the United States of America to give the Americans the first set at 21 to 15. We expected a much closer opening set than we have just seen. That is an impressive beatdown from Team USA against Australia's best. You're absolutely right. A beatdown is what I would call it as well. They control from start to finish. They serve tougher. They block better at the net. And Alex Kleinman's face says it all right there. The joy, the elation of winning that first set. Taking a look at the first step statistics. 12 to 6 in kills led by the United States. 75 in terms of side out percentage as opposed to 55. No real blocks going on at the net, which is surprising as physical as Clancy is and how tall and physical 
as Alex Kleinman is, but an impressive start for the Americans. It'll be interesting. Can they keep the heat on? I'll tell you what, Nick, one thing I did not like, it seemed like when it got to about 1920, the Australians said, let's just get to the second set because they were down. Rather than fight, get some momentum, even if you lose that first set, playing a little better. Right now, their serve receive is causing them all sorts of trouble. It's a very good point that you make, Dane, because how you finish that first set can often determine the pace of the game that you bring to the opening exchanges of the second set. Fascinating. So the five best attackers of the tournament, Clancy, still at the top of the table, Humana Paredes, who will be in action for Canada in the second semi-final. Ross there down in fifth position. That stat may change. 23 aces for Clancy, best in the tournament, but Kleinman, having put four down in this match, moves up into the rankings. There's a big sky ball to allow the USA to get back into position. That was so smart by Alex Kleinman. She launched the ball, it was a free ball, so why not launch it high? And she gave it to Clancy so that Australia couldn't run the over on two offense. They still try over on two, but it's not the case usually with Artacho. And Kleinman owns that exchange and puts it to the deep corner. So some smart play by the USA. Here's April Ross for the USA. Serves at Maria Faye Artaccio of Canada, who's now on the attack. Of Australia, not Canada, my mistake. Kleinman beaten that time. Dropping off the net, but just uh, too far. Good roll right to the middle of the court, and then a nice shot at the retreating blocker by, by M. Faye Artaccio. Australia need to find some momentum now. Talika Clancy with a big jump serve. Great shot from April Ross, moving up to the net. So smart by April Ross. One foot, showing her athleticism. Out of USC in Southern California. So many players. Sarah Hughes, Kelly Clays, Tina Gradina. All representing the Trojans. Another fine shot from Kleiman. Not the most powerful of attacking shots, but it's the placement of the ball right down the center of the Australian court. Neither player unsure which way to go, looking at each other. Yeah, we haven't mentioned it much, but all four players obviously in tight head to toe. It has been cool yeah, weather cool. here today. They're all trying to stay warm. <laughs> Really starting to love those expressions by Alex Kleinman on the turn to her partner, April Ross. But we've been down to 16 degrees Celsius here today. Great save from April Ross. Talika Clancy on the attack. And again, the cover from April Ross. And Kleinman again, pinpoint with the weight on the ball, right to the rear of the Australian court on the baseline. And it's three clear again for the USA in the opening exchanges of set two. How about Alex Kleinman funneling the ball right to April Ross? And this is the final point over the touch, top of Clancy. And right now the United States just seems like everything's going their way. And Australia still can't figure it out. They're calling an early timeout at four to one here in the second. They just feel that the momentum is too strong. They have to stop it. No communication between the two players, Dane. Silence. They look a little shocked by the pace and speed that the Americans are putting on the ball and with the rate that they're scoring. Here we go. Well, if I'm on the side of Australia, I'm saying just calm down, take a few deep breaths, get back to what we know. A big thing has been serve-receive. They need to start passing the ball a little bit better so they can run that diverse offense that we've seen with different tempos and go over on that second contact like Clancy likes to do. Back set for Otaccio. 
Kleiman there with the block. Good play from Australia. Nice and dynamic. Lots of different skills and drills used. Finally getting that ball down to the American court side. And that's a big side out. Certainly justifying the timeout day. Yeah, here's a huge set to the outside, really wide. And that ball's hit right between the blocker and April Ross, the defender. Beautiful selection by Clancy. Tatio with the service. Well, Kleinman is definitely winning the battle at the net against Clancy. That was a straight challenge. She went right at the block and actually got the ball through. That could have easily been blocked. But like we keep saying, Australia having trouble getting in the groove. Back to the outside, the left arm of Clancy and inbound. Seems like Alex Kleinman, wherever she wants to put it, she is. This is definitely her match of the tournament. Can they keep the pressure on? April Ross with the service. There's Clancy's favorite shot over on two. Just touches the block of Kleinman, so the point goes to Australia. Maybe this is a turning point for Australia. Maybe they can get things going, get on track, and play like we saw them play against the Swiss the other day, where they were somewhat dominant. Again, Alex Kleiman can do no wrong right now. Six to three for the United States of America. Big hit down the line. This is the first world championships of beach volleyball for Alex Kleiman. On the other hand, her partner has been in six previous world championships, a first in 2009 and a second place in 2017 with Lauren Fendrick. And that's what's uh, an incredible positive for the Americans. April Ross has been there before, got the T-shirts on numerous occasions. And that will help Kleiman keep calm should the USA go through to the gold medal match. And uh, in this kind of form, I don't think Australia will stop them. The Aussies need to change something here. Either find a little bit more pace and tempo or change their whole tactic and target of play. That serve right there, a little too easy. And Kleinman, just like I said, having her way, hitting cross court, hitting line. There's a drop shot cross court, short. And right now, Australia, you can see the look on Taliko Clancy's face, just trying to figure it out, trying to somehow get that momentum on her team. Yeah, trying her best not to look dejected here. There's another beautiful serve with Artacho at full stretch to keep the ball in play. It'll stab one hand with Kleinman, but again she puts the ball down. And it's starting to become a little bit of a mental block for Talika Clancy because she didn't play like this in the quarterfinals or the pool play. Clancy has been the hottest female player of the championship until she gets to this semi, and it's just all going wrong for the Australian. Oh, that last play, you got to give it up to Kleinman. I mean, she pulls that dig out of her left hand one-handed, and not known for her defense in the backcourt, more known for a blocker, but when things are going well, you got to keep riding it. That's a great play from Australia. And a little bit more like the quality that they've been showing us throughout this 12th, the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championship. Lovely back set, timing is perfect. There's Maria Faye Artacho, cross court, really good deceptive move, I like how she swings around to the outside. I really love Australia's offense. I know their coach, Kirk Pittman, has worked with it, with them tremendously on it. Oh, <laughs> look at Clancy. She's getting a little antsy because she knew she was all over that one. Looked like it was going to be a block for Australia, but off the side, out of it. Alex Kleiman with service for the USA. Again, the Americans continue to target Artacho. Climbing on the attack. Good play from Artacho, particularly. 25-year-old, originally uh, born in Peru, but uh, now an Australian national. 
and residing in Adelaide. Finally, finding an opportunity, and it doesn't go down. Fortunate for the Australians. Let's see if they can capitalize. Oh, that's right on the line. Perfect pace on the ball. The point advantage stays with the Americans. April Ross, one of the more powerful players on tour for the last decade. Unlucky. Just past the baseline. Quick point back on the board for Australia. Well, a big serve from Clancy. But look at the play here from Kleinman. Confidence now at an all-time high. And uh, Alex Kleinman is starting to really enjoy herself out there. He's just having an absolutely stellar match. What impresses me most is the communication between April and Alex. If you listen closely when Alex is hitting every ball, April giving her direction where to hit the ball and being very vocal. Kleinman again with a good serve to Clancy this time. Oh, and she's beaten her counterpart at the net. Another great block. And in the perfect position once again. Five clear, the United States of America. Two points away from the Tech timeout. And this could be more for the USA. Look at this form by Alex Kleinman. She moves to her left and she just gets up. That ball gets caught right in between both of her hands as she pushes forward. There's the push. And you just couldn't have done it any better. Kleinman with serve. Remember, she's already put four aces away. Great cover from Artaccio. And a good finish as well. That's a little more like the pace of play that have uh, given the Australians five wins and only one loss in their pathway to this semi-final. Great defense there by April Ross, but nobody's digging that ball. Artacho just getting up and over at five foot nine, showing her vertical lead. That was sweet. Does it lift the Australian game and give them a little more confidence? Good cover again from Artacho. And another good point on the board, valuable point on the board for Australia. Going into the technical timeout at the halfway point in the second set. And it is 9 to 12, Australia to the United States of America. But the North Americans have won the first set 21 to 15. The pressure still on Australia, but that was a better part of the match for the Aussies, Dane. And a couple of points that showed the real Australian team, or certainly the team that we've been watching throughout the week here in Hamburg. 18 kills and four aces for the six foot five Stanford graduate, Alex Kleinman, who's just been on tour for two seasons with April Ross, already got three victories, and she's done it by hitting that ball high, snapping it hard, and she has caused fits for the opposition here in Hamburg all week long. U.S. serve placement. Well, which direction are they going? They are going to Artacho on the right side, mixing it up quite a bit down the middle. We saw a lot of those aces from Alex Kleiman just right down the middle, call it, causing that communication breakdown. But a very clear chart for the strategy of the Americans. Lancey and Artacho just need to pass the ball a little bit better and put a little more serving pressure on the Americans if they are going to cut into this three-point lead. Australia have to win this second set to stay in the match and take it to a third set tiebreak. Artacho 
This time serving April Ross. April Ross, spectacular shot right on the line. A wonderful angle cross court. And the first point on the board for the USA coming out of that tech timeout. The USA just doesn't seem like they can do any wrong. Hitting the outside of the lines, communicating well, executing, and they continue to kind of mix it up, keep Australia guessing, and that's been a huge advantage. Kleinman's there with the block, and April Ross, the perfect cover at the defense. Good play from Talika Clancy to finally close it out. Fast work from both teams. Huge side out for Australia. Nice dig, quick over the net. Kleinman tries to poke it down for the kill. Then nobody's blocking. April rushes to the net. And it feels like Clancy feels her coming to the net, so she goes down the line to the open court. And catches the United States a little bit off guard. Clancy continues with the change of tactics, serving April Ross for Australia. There's her favourite shot over on two, over on one from April Ross, unsuccessful. Oh, and that ball touches the line. <laughs> Finally, Australia start to find a little bit of momentum, helped by a little bit of luck. April thought this was out, I think everybody did, and somehow, it catches the sideline. She tries to motion out, but she knew what she saw. The outside of the line jumping point for Australia. This is a good service run from Talika Clancy. Kleinman sets April Ross. April Ross gets that point down, maintains that advantage for the USA. Three clear. A good look at the approach of April Ross coiling, getting as much power from that torso as possible. And a little skip jump and showing a little emotion, showing some fire. She, more than anyone, knows what's on the line. She's already been to two Olympics, collected two medals, and she is still looking for gold. Service error from Kleinman, who was so successful with her serve. Artaccio serves April Ross. There's a tactical switch here from the Australians with the target of their service game, and it uh, seems to be working. Now they're trying to take Kleinman out of the game and focus all their serves at April Ross. And they're just within one of the USA. Same again, serve to April Ross. Alex Kleinman sets a partner. April Ross keeps her calm and cool, draws on her experience to put a big point away, maintaining the break at 15 to 13. That's a huge point, right? Because you can start to feel Australia chipping away, trying to get themselves into this one. And right now, for the United States, they need to stop that momentum swing. And this is, by the looks of it, going to come down to the wire. The veteran from the USA, April Ross, serves it up. Oh, and there's a poor judgment call. April was there, could have played the ball, but chose to let it go, thinking it was out of play. Costly error for April Ross. Talika Clancy serves April Ross. Kleinman sets. Love the Americans. Just everything is on point. Both April and Alex stand out. Both won National Freshman of the Year at the university level, obviously at different times. And Kleinman went on to win Player of the Year in the university system as well. And so 
they have taken their game to the beach and just four points away from advancing to the finals of the 2019 World Championship. Lyman with the service. It's another fabulous serve to Itaccio. Lyman thought she got her hands there. A chance for Australia to stay in the match here. It's not over yet. Just two behind the USA. Artaccio to April Ross. What a great shot from April Ross. Right down the middle. Well, as the Australians start to switch their tactic and focus on April Ross, she's maybe starting to show them quite clearly now why that's not the best decision. Yeah, that's a crush right down the middle, and you never know when the play is going to happen to get you the win. And I think that was very crucial. The Australians could have cut it down to one. Instead, it's a three-point lead. Good play from Ataccio. So close right there, the press. And Artacho's had a pretty solid match. They just have not been able to do what their bread and butter is, what they love, the over on two. Good cover from Artacho as April Ross tries to go down the line. They've got it to within one point here, Australia. Nice back set, beautiful hands by Talika Clancy. And then it's Artacho with a quick read. You know, the block of Kleinman seemed to have shielded April's vision for a second. Late reaction with her hands, and it is just too late. Talika Clancy looking to tie the scores here. Puts it right into the net. And, uh, well, you have to admire her courage to go for the big high-speed jump serve, but she puts it right into the net and puts the USA in a commanding position to potentially wrap up this match now and head to the finale of these World Championships. Artaccio, good cover from Kleiman, who's pulled off the net. Now she goes forwards, puts the ball down the line. Match points for the United States of America. Another shot on point from uh, Kleinman. Just as we were starting to question that the Americans' focus was starting to slip and Australia almost getting back into the match. Kleinman turns the pressure dial one more notch. And here are the USA looking to wrap up this semi-final. Service error from Kleinman. Easy point back for Australia. Pressure starting to get to all four of the players in the Red Bull Beach Arena. And all they need to do is one side out and they will move on. The pressure is definitely mounting. Artaccio, cross court to April Ross. April Ross looking to close it. Artaccio, oh, they've kicked the ball up. That's out of play. The United States of America advanced to the final of the 12th FIVB World Beach Volleyball Championships and they advance in style, two sets to zero over an in-form Australian team. The Aussies beat them earlier on this year in the FIVB World Tour, but America's revenge is sweet in the biggest event of the season. April Ross and Alex Kleinman advance to the gold medal match to be contested here at the Red Bull Beach Arena tomorrow in Hamburg, Germany. And that is quite a spectacular performance. Well, in the first set, America came out on court and were firing on all cylinders from the get-go. And the second set, every time we felt that the Aussies were finally getting into the match, April Ross shut them out. But for me, 
the lady of the match has got to be Alex Kleinman. 29-year-old from Manhattan Beach, a relative rookie in comparison to the other three. She's had the best beach game of her career, and the reward is a place in the final here. Brilliant performance from the Americans. April Ross will shoot out for her second World Championship gold. And as for the rookie, Alex Kleinman, in her first World Championships, she may even take the biggest prize of all. Four aces for Alex Kleinman. The service errors, okay. 29 kills to 20 and a 77% side-out percentage from the Americans. Give them a 2-0 victory over the Austra over Australia. Let's go down to Dane Blanton, who is with the victorious American duo of Alex.